Okay, I have a video of this reaction as I did it in class, and you can see this on YouTube. Uh, it should be the one just before or after this video. At any rate, we're going to see the chemistry behind what actually happened when we looked at that precipitation reaction. So, first thing we want to do is complete this the way we always have when we were, remember when we put two things together and we completed the right side? What is the first thing we put up on here? What's going to be right here? Yeah, the AG, the silver, okay? And so we're going to put silver here, and what do we put here? K. K, yeah. Okay, now we put the two positive ions, also known as anions, and now we're going to switch the partners, okay? So who's silver going to get over here? Yeah. Cl, and silver and chloride, when they come together, do not dissolve in water. Okay? They're married for life. Anyway, who's the potassium going to get? No three. The nitrate ion. You all know we're having that quiz tomorrow, right? What? Yeah, we're having that quiz tomorrow. Memorize ions. So now we have set up what we call the skeleton equation. And oh I forgot to put AQ here. Can anybody tell me what the AQ means? Aqueous. What does that mean? Okay, that means it dissolves in water, okay? So the potassium nitrate over here will dissolve in water, won't form a precipitate, but this guy is what you saw when it turned to look like milk, okay? And then the potassium chloride is switching partners with silver nitrate, and this now is our skeleton. Equation. All right. Because everything, ha all these ions have a charge of one, we know that the coefficients are going to be one. All the way across. Now I have not only a skeleton equation, but I have a balanced. Skeleton equation, EQM3 equation. So there's my skeleton, and there's my balanced skeleton. Now we're going to do the ionic. If you did your do now, this will make a little bit more sense to you. Ionic equation, this is the complete ionic. I'm going to move this over and we'll add that complete to it. Find it okay? Okay, complete ionic equation. So now what we do is we take everything that's aqueous and we break it up. And when we break it up, we got to show the charges, okay? So, silver, it's aqueous on the left side, so I'm going to do the AG as a 1 plus. Then I'm going to have, what other, what's that next ion? What is it? What's its name? NO3, 1 minus, what is it? Nitrate. Nitrate ion, good. Do a little practice for the quiz tomorrow. All right, what's next? Which ion is next? K. Hey. Hello. What is it? What's going to be the next guy? Come on. We just took silver. We took nitrate. Who's next? Good. Okay. 
And what's the charge? One plus. He's in column one, so he's got to be one plus. And the next guy is who? Chloride. Chloride because he's an ion. One minus. Okay? The next one, we're going to take the other side. And the silver chloride, HECL, this guy is a solid, so we have to write him as a solid. And then we have potassium over here. And we have the nitrate. One minus. Now, in our ionic equation and our net ionic equation, we have to, please, in both we have to put in the aqueous stuff. This is a royal pain. You don't want to do this a whole bunch of times. So you're only going to have one, one homework where you have to do this. But we need the aqueous. Aqueous. All of this stuff on the left is aqueous. The silver chloride on the right is not aqueous, so it stays together. And this is aqueous. And this is aqueous. And okay, now the net ionic is going to be the easiest one. So for the net ionic, we start with the solid. Okay, the solid is going to be the silver, and let's circle that. And I, I see how here that I did not put the coefficients in, so I'll go back and do that in just a second. But the silver chloride is the guy that we saw in our demo that just would not dissolve in water. And that's why it became a white, uh, milky looking solution. And so that guy is the right side of our net ionic equation. Now we're going to go back to the left side and find the parts of the net ionic equation. Or the parts of the solid, because that's going to be the other side of the net ionic. So we had the silver ion and the chloride ion are in the solid that we have on the right. So I need to go back now and put in the coefficients because a net ion, an ionic equation, as well as a net ionic equation, has to have all of the coefficients. And so the silver nitrate, or the silver chloride on the right side is a solid, and there's going to be one of those. And then we're going to have on the left side the silver ion by himself, which is half of the molecule silver chloride. And then we have the chloride ion. And he has a 1 minus charge. And now we have balanced equation. And we have these guys as aqueous. And on the other side, we have our solid. And that is what you're supposed to do in your homework tonight. So I'm going to stop this recording. I'm going to post this on YouTube. And then I'm going to do two more. And uh, you can choose to watch whatever you want. But there will be three postings tonight. There will be the video there of, of me doing the actual demonstration of formation of the silver chloride. And then there's going to be the video that you're looking at right now, and a third video that does two of your homework problems for you. And thank you for watching.